Yo, hey there everybody. So in this video, I'm doing a little refresh on this uh, bike frame, uh, which this is the first frame that I ever built. And I've been, I've got a few other videos on it and you know, a full video series of the build and then kind of a few others from when I kind of tested it, 5,000, 10,000 miles. So we're coming up on 20,000 miles and this thing's uh, you know, seen better days. Kind of just did a like a primer job, and then like a matte black finish. And and there's a couple other things like in this area here. I, w I always wanted to dimple these tubes a little bit to gain a little extra clearance for maybe a little bit fatter tire, or you know, make my fenders fit a little easier. So um, I went ahead and dimpled these guys in. You might uh, seed stays there just a little bit, just with a block of wood and um, some of my frame building stuff that I dug out of storage to do this little project. And I also weld off camera welded on some little uh, cable guides underneath the the down tube and um, you know on the back side of the. I don't know. Anyway, so the I I went and got some. I ordered some paint from uh, Spray Bike. I got some primer, some kind of this yellow color, and then some clear. And uh, took a took a couple weeks to for the temperature to warm up enough to actually paint them out in the backyard there. So you know, snowy Denver winter there. So finally got some time to paint it, and uh, you know, I messed off some of the things you know in the body you know but there's still lots of paint inside the thread so i just ran through and cleaned out all the threaded portions and everything in the frame bottom bracket and all the little derailleur hanger bolt and all the accessory mounts and basically everything that was threaded went ahead and splurged and got me a new headset uh you know just kind of cobbled together a headset with you know that i've been riding this thing for the last four or five years or however long I've had this bike so um, yeah putting a new headset in here and <clears throat> uh, you know there's a couple little lines you want to get them just lined up there so I try to be careful to get everything set up to where the logos all matched up and then I had one set of these decals that my my dad had actually made these decals up for me and I kind of came up with the design and so <clears throat> yeah so I got the decals on got the bike painted and everything and just kind of giving it a assembly you know putting the getting the fork and the new headset and everything back in uh, yeah pretty you know uh, I was pretty happy with the with the paint, you know, it, it looks really good from maybe five feet away. If you get really close, I'll show a couple close-up shots here in a bit. And, you, you know, it's not perfect, but, uh, you know, the bike was starting to get some rubbed off spots and scratches, getting a little rusty. So it was definitely time to give it a little freshen up, you know, and get it looking, looking good and everything. So, you know, and plus this... I kind of chose a color that maybe was a little bit more visible, you know, high visibility. Um, you know, I don't know if you're, you're noticing, but I am at a different shop now, which is this one is uh, about five miles, four and a half, five miles away from where I'm currently live now. So it's the uh, uh, same company that I've been with, just to the, one of the locations is closer to, you know, where I live. So it's a little, little, uh, closer commute and I'll probably be doing the majority of my commuting on this bike I would I would guess <clears throat> uh, uh, yeah so anyway yeah new shop um, you know it's elevation cycles and we just uh, partnered up with the Mike's bikes you know that quite a few locations in Northern California so now our store is uh, Mike's bikes not elevation cycles but yeah, so anyway, here's, you know, got the new shop, new bike, new paint job. Kind of going over it all here after I got the assembly. You can't really see the cable guides so much, but um, you can see that one there. But there's some under, it looks a lot cleaner, in my opinion. Uh, but this was my first little, 
really shake down around me and my buddy of mine went and wrote it a little muddy and stuff and so I got my fenders on but you can kind of see the cable guides there basically what I did was just took a a little washer and bent it around like a little taco and um, tacked uh, either end just to the bottom of the frame there TIG welded it onto the bottom and the sides of the chain stays on the brake side and um, yeah so I think the bike's a little a little more functional now but it's still going strong and uh, yeah hopefully you found the video interesting uh, it's kind of a long long series of this first bike that I ever built but it's still going strong so yeah thanks for watching see you guys next time